Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithelly.com and I'm going to be sharing with you um, my free card class which is featuring the Spruce Up bundle and I'm trying to see what do they do, oh here it is, like, where is the, the bundle? So it is featuring this one which is a fun Christmas set I think, um, the die set is really nice but I am really crazy about the trees in this set, so I decided to go with the trees. Of course, there's other elements, like you can see there's a gift, um, a gift and some ornaments and some, uh, what is it, like a snowflake. So there's other things, but I went ahead and played more with the trees. I don't know why I was all into the, the trees for whatever reason today. So anyway, <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, so let's just see, uh, let me know where you're watching from, of course, because I always love to see where you're watching. And of course, we're going to start real quick with a few announcements as far as, uh, as far as upcoming classes and, um, and then we'll get it started. Okay. So let me just make sure who is here. Hi, but thank you so much for sharing. By the way, that always helps me a lot. It helps me get the word out. So if you have fr crafty friends, make sure you share it up with them. I love to be able to share uh, the cards with everyone. Um, hi, Marianne. Hi, Linda. Let me just make sure. Oh, and before I do that, <coughs> let me make sure I um, I go uh, also on on the Facebook, uh, on my other phone so that I can see the comments. Cause you know, sometimes I don't really see the comments when I'm not on the other phone, uh, on this phone. So I have to make sure I am catching with everyone. All right. So hi, Don. <laughs> Say hello to Lenny. I'm glad he's there. Uh, hi, Russ. And let me see. Hi, Pat. Um, so anyway, so let's just get it started. Um, so first things first, um, car club, the new car club, um, it's already released. The uh, it is featuring the sweet gingerbread, and it is all about that sweet gingerbread uh, house. Um, there are five cards in this kit, and three of them are actually fun folds. Um, the remember the car club. It's my subscription box. So anytime you subscribe, uh, you're gonna be receiving. Uh, a kit to make, make five cars and you'll receive about $20 in products and then when you stay with me for six months you get a $25 credit of your choice um, it is $39 and it already includes the shipping and you can sign up to get this car kit between now and November 7 the kit will be shipping around November 20th um, so anyway, if you want to learn more about this, you can go to creatingwithali.com forward slash car club, and I'll put a link here once we are on YouTube, but of course it's up in the description, or if you're watching on YouTube, it's going to be down in the description. That way you can read more and see what it's all about. Um, and if you want to be part of it, of course you can join. Also, I do share all the tutorials there. So if you're interested in a past card club kit, because uh, you're, you're just learning about it, of course, you can go there and check out all the different uh, tutorials. Or you can go to creatingwithelly.com forward slash shop, and that's where I sell all the tutorials. So pretty much all my card classes, um, I do the tutorials there, so you can check out. Um, there's a few of them that, of course, sometimes I'm a little bit behind, but uh, for the majority of them, they're there. And by the way, this card class, the tutorial, has been already released today on the website. So you can grab this one right away. Hi, Doris. Hi, Nympha. Hi, Flo. I'm glad you're making it here. Um, let me see. Oh, thank you so much again. I really appreciate when you share it. It helps me a lot. So thank you, thank you. Um, and then the next card class that I have available is, of course, the for the stamp -a stack so we're almost done with the stamp -a stack for the 2022 series and this is the one that i um that i do to help you get ready for the holidays so anyway so this one is is featuring the decorated with um happiness and i think they all look really nice it does feature the lights that glow designer series paper so there's a lot of the gold foil and I think it really looks really nice and a little bit of elegant and I don't know, I feel like it's really good. So anyway, for this class, you actually make 12 cards. So you get three of each of the different designs. You get all the supplies to make them as well as some designer series paper, the ribbons, some foil. So anyway, it's a really fun card class to make. And the last day to sign up for this one is going to be 
October 28th. Last week I said it was going to be this Friday. I was wrong. It's actually the 28th. So you have this week and next week to sign up. Um, and it's going to be cheap around like seven days after the deadline is done. So anyway, um, if you want to get the link, make sure you email me at Ali at creatingwithali.com. That way I can send you the link to register. Or even better, you can be on my mailing list because that's the best way to get all the information about upcoming classes and also get the registration links um, to these. So anyway, so that's the classes. And the last thing is um, I do have, I remember I mentioned that for all my demonstrator friends, I am partnering with Jennifer Cotton to do an event at Arlington. So it is our on stage after party, the Creating with Friends. Hi, Rhonda, nice seeing you here. Um, and so that car class or that event is closing on Friday. That's the one that I was mistaken. So that's the one that is uh, ending. Um, the registration period ends this Friday. I sent an email today. I'm going to send another one on Friday just to make sure you have a last call. Um, but it's going to be super fun. That event, again, is mainly for demonstrators. If you're attending the Arlington on stage event from Stamping Up, make sure you sign up. I'm sure you're going to have lots of fun. We're going to have displays. We're going to have a goodie bag, raffles, giveaways, uh, two car classes right there. Um, what else? There is an organized swap, which is optional. That one is also optional. So I think it's going to be super fun and you're going to have a chance to network with other demonstrators. So, um, if you are attending the Arlington event, make sure you join us. I know you're going to love it. And if you are not attending the Arlington, but you still want to get it, you can definitely sign up. There is a to go option and all kits will be, um, shipped after the event. Um, because anyone who is racer, whether you are on the live event or uh, the to go, you are entering into the drawing. So that's the main reason why we're going to be shipping it after the event. Um, so that if you get or if you win anything during the event, we can mail it to you with your kit. So anyway, so that's pretty much, I want to say, that's pretty much as far as events. So make sure you're in the mailing list because you're going to be getting some of those emails and reminders. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me just start flipping the camera, turn on the lights, and and then we'll talk about also our amazing starter kit. Oh, that's our thing, the starter kit. So, before I forget, so the starter kits, so as you know, Stampin' Up! have an amazing um, deal right now going on, where uh, when you get that starter kit, you actually get more uh, more products for the same amount. So a starter kit is already a good deal because you pay $99 and typically you receive about $125 or up to $125 worth of products. But during October, you actually get um, you actually get $155 worth of products. So it is a good deal. So if you have a long wish list or if you're going to be uh, placing a larger order, make sure you consider that a starter kit. There's really no obligation. There's no commitments. And, um, but if you stay or at least during between now and whatever, December, no, actually March, you actually get 20% on all your subsequent orders. So again, you don't have to place orders if you don't want to, but if you do, you're going to be getting 20% on your crafting supply. So from that end, I think it's a great deal. So again, if you're placing larger orders or if you have a long wish list and want to get lots of stuff, make sure you consider that a starter kit because I know you're going to really enjoy it. And of course, you're going to be part of our amazing team. You're actually going to be part of two teams, the Stamp Therapies and the Stamping Pals, which is my group, um, because um, we have one group with Jennifer Cotton because she is my upline. And then you have one with me. So there's lots of um, opportunities for you to swap. There are team gatherings with both of the teams. And we share so much um, with both of them. So I think you're going to enjoy it. And I know you're going to be um, super, super uh, happy to be in that community of crafters. So anyway, if you need more information, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. And let me check here because someone has a question. Hold on. Uh, what are the stamp sets? Oh, okay, Paula is asking, what are the stamp sets that we're going to be using for the card class in Arlington? So, um, right now we're thinking it's going to be, hold on. Oh, I, I have to, oh, it has to be, oh, sorry, my, my husband is outside and all of a sudden I started hearing uh, voices outside, which usually is not the case. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> so anyway, um, it is going to be the one with the bear, forest friends, and then also the, um, oh, 
What is the, the one that has the flowers? I have to remember the name. Give me a second, I'll, I'll tell you. Hold on. Uh, through Beauty. Sorry, Through Beauty. So, those are the two stamp sets that we're going to be using. And I know you're going to love all the projects. I just finished um, designing the cards, and I just love how they turn out. So, I'm sure you're going to be loving it. So, anyway, let me change the camera and start um today's hold on give me one second so anyway hopefully that was the question paula there you go so now here is the host code as usual anyone who's placing an order with me between now and saturday october 28 22nd you're using this host code we'll get the card key to make the cards we're making today so i'm going to start with this one and like i said i pretty much already that i cut everything but let me just show you real quick uh the different the different sets oh my gosh hold give me a second oliver ve por favor a la casa papa está por allá por favor oliver ve para la casa por favor i know but go go out please I'm so sorry. The kid is where just a minute ago. So sorry for interruptions here. <laughs> so anyway, so um, so here is the bundle that we're gonna be using here, <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah. So it is a spruce up, and the cool thing about this one is not only it cuts the shapes, but it also cuts out a little um outline. So somewhere here I should have oh here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so it cuts also the outline. Somewhere here I should have the tree. Yeah. So something like that. So you get both of them. Okay, so anyway, you just want to make sure you you see the things. We're going to be using them as well. But, um, and then the sentiments are really nice. So for this one, I am also used... Oh, you have... <laughs> And um, usually, um, for this one, I'm going to be using the designer series paper, which is one of the ones that you get as a host rewards. So I'm going to show you here how it, which one it is. So it is the Celebrate Everything, which is this one. It has the bright colors, and of course, it has something for fall. It has some for Halloween, of course. But the other side from the Halloweens are different other things. So I know you can use it for something else. So even though Halloween is almost over, right, um, you can still use this side of the paper. So that's the beauty of our design series paper. You have the two sides, but you can see the different um, the different um, patterns here. So really fun paper to play with, to be honest. Bright color. So I love it. And it's one of those packs where you get four sheets of each of the different designs of the 12 by 12. So you get a lot of paper on this pack. And so definitely it's a good one. And I love, of course, that it is bright color. So for this one, I'm gonna be using, this is a, a um, I feel like it's a little bit of an easy card, mainly because you let the paper and the dice really make the whole thing, right? So I've cut out already several of these um, trees. There's two trees, a smaller one and a larger one. And I cut them out in um pool party as well as the granny apple green and then i did this one out of the designer series paper that i just show you mainly because when i saw when i saw this paper it kind of looked great for the three don't you think so i thought it was going to be it's going to look really nice and then an accent i'm going to be using the polish pink so for this one my car base is um shaded as spruce which is a really rich, nice uh, green. I think that that's one of them. This is one of my favorite greens, and I almost never get to use it, but it looks really nice. And I'm going to be pairing it with the Granny Apple Green, kind of following um, this combination, okay? Now, this one, I cut it out at, what it is? It, what, it used to be four by five and one, mm, well, actually, it's five and one eighth. Um, and I cut it out the edge using the contour dice, the contour escalope dice, is right. the escalope contour dice, which has this border, right? So you just line it up to the edge, right? And then just run it through your um, die cut machine and you get this edge. Um, that way I have a nice border around it, right? And then I have my designer series paper. Now this designer series paper is, um three and a half by five and so it's gonna go 
right here okay so i'm gonna be adding this to like so and then i'm gonna be adding a sentiment on this one okay so i have all those pieces already and uh, like i said i cut out several ones um pool party granny apple green and then the one from the designer series paper and then for this one i was thinking we could do some embossing so give me a second here let me get a piece of paper um, I almost never, um, yeah, I almost never have, um, or do the embossing, but I feel like we, for this one, it looks really nice. And by the way, I got the idea out of Pinterest. Um, I felt like, um, it looked really nice or at least a color combo from there. And so I decided to go with that for all my cars, at least the trees and everything. So anyway, as um, there, we sell now a embossing kit. Um, I don't remember what's the name, but it has now the embossing body. I have my original one, which is the one that we got a few years ago, you know. And I'm going to be using the Bersamark and the um, white embossing powder, which this one now is it comes on a basic embossing kit. Uh, powder which has the black the clear and the white so now you get the three bottles in one um in one kit um rather than just the one okay give me a second let me get the stamp set so we're gonna be using i think i'm gonna go with this one made and oh you know what no well i'm gonna be embossing two things here hold on I'm going to be, because I'm actually, I think I'm going to be embossing this three times. Because I want one that says Merry Christmas, and then I want one that has these two. But I want two of the Christmas, so hold on. So let's do that. Let's do the whole embossing first, because that way we're done with the embossing, you know? You know me, I like to do all the pieces first. And then, um, holiday, yeah. And then we're ready to assemble. You know, if you were part of that, uh, where's the? Christmas. Do I have Christmas? Yes. If you were part of the, um, what am I saying here? Of the DSP challenge, you know that I try to put all my pieces first because that way then I'm just playing with uh, the rest, right? Um, hold on. Um, that way, um, you know, it's just assembling it, and I love that process a lot, to be honest. I feel like that would, that was always kind of faster for me. So anyway, so we have this piece. I have this. I do want to use this one. So I'm going to be putting this one like so here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and this is just a scrap of the Polish pink, as you can see. We're going to be die cutting it later on. Now, the embossing, the embossing body that I use here is a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. The embossing um, body, so this thing, when I rub it, it kind of takes away the aesthetic so that it makes a uh, where the powder only sticks where the ink is. So it's kind of very convenient to have it. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one there. I'm going to go ahead with the next, and I went on this one, the Mary. And I think I'm off camera right now, so give me a second here. Oh, did I put them both in? No, probably not. Okay, so I need this one. And I need the Mary. And the Christmas. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that one. And I have those two as well. Okay, and then I'm going to need another one of those. And again, I'm just using scraps and see how it goes better when you do these things. Uh, I need 
does it fit hold on does it fit both oh i think it does okay so i'm gonna go with that i need my mary and the christmas again And same thing, I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. There we go. Okay, now I can heat emboss or oh, use the heat. Oh. There we go. And now I'm going to put everything back into this container. There we go. All right, it's all good. Now it's gonna get a little louder because I'm gonna bring the heat tool. So give me one second here. Ooh, I might need another one of those now that I can think of. Mm, yeah, I think I might need another one. Well, we'll see. Okay. Oof. Okay, so I have those. And I think I'm going to be using one more of those. So let me put another one of those here, you know? So we're going to bring everything again. I totally forgot about that. Um, Where is this thing? Yeah. And then once we're done, then we have all our pieces. Like I said, I like to stamp all of the pieces first. Because that makes it so much easier. Okay. And then I'm going to bring again the powder and the heat tool and then we're done. Okay. So now let's put this one back. Okay. All right. All right. So let's bring again the heat tool. Okay. All right. Let me disconnect these. All righty. Good deal. Okay. So I'm going to be die cutting these two. And I thought of using, hold on. Where is this other die set? There is this die set. Mm -hmm. This one. Hopefully I give myself enough room. But this is the uh, Holy Berry Dice, okay, which is the one that has the, the leaves. And I'm going to be using this one to cut out this, okay? So, Oliver, por favor, ve por allá. Give me one second. Tienes un trash can? I don't have a trash can here. Because that's a banana. I don't want that banana. <laughs> <laughs> this year at school, when I had okay. to write about what I did. All right, so now next, I'm going to go with this one, and I'm going to put this one right here, and now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and, give me one second, Oliver, por favor, vea para la casa, por favor, Addison, 
Give me one second here. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Too many interruptions today, as you can see. <sighs> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here, just to make sure it doesn't move, because of course we don't have any more magnetics sheets. And I'm gonna be doing that for both of them. So I have this label. So I'm gonna do the same with this one. And let me just put them more so I can see, so I can center them. I like to use either the post stick or uh, washi tape. That way they're not moving, you know, the dies are not moving, especially when you have the piece already um, stamped. I feel like that way is easier to keep it because it will be really bad if, you know, it moves and then it's not anymore the way you want it, right? So anyway, so let me just move this one out. All right, so now back to this. All right, so and let me put this one back on the side because then, you know, I'll be losing it here for the next thing. So anyway, so we have those. So I was thinking I was going to be putting like that one right here, right? So let's start gluing all the pieces. And of course, now I have all these pieces for the next cards. Um, and we're done with the whole embossing and everything. So we pretty much have all everything, I think. Um, as far as embellishments, I was thinking to either use the glossy dots uh, or maybe you can use rhinestones. And then as far as the ribbon, I was thinking to use the parakeet, oh, the parakeet uh, party metallic woven ribbon. Those are the ones that I'm thinking here using. I know, me too, Joyce. I really miss the magnetic that makes it so much easier. But, you know, we get to do with what we have. <laughs> um, all right, so where is my, yeah, here. It's like, where is the um, pieces here? There we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I think that having the magnetic is really great, but we don't have it. It was, it was, um, the quality was not good. It was separating, which I get it, you know? But yeah, definitely, hopefully, hopefully there's something that we can come up with so that we have it again because oh my gosh that's such a great thing um okay so now i'm going to go ahead and center this one uh it was more like so oh got stuck here okay let me see if there's any other comments here before. Oh, thank you, Paula. So, yes, it's called Embossing Editions Toolkit. Thank you, thank you for, for uh, putting it there. I appreciate it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add this. So I want these to be something. Is this what I had? Yes. And then maybe have this one come here. I don't know that I want that one. Maybe I'll save this one for another card. And then I want to have this one right here, see? So it looks kind of cute. And then we'll put some of these dots and then some bow. How about that? I like how it's looking. So let me put these pieces. Now I'm going to be putting the sentiment with, um, and I might need to move this one a little bit higher. like to hide those things. Okay. And then I'm going to be 
fitting this one right here. And then for this one, I was thinking we can either use the um, the multi liquid, uh, liquid, yeah, the multi liquid glue, or you can use the other one. What is that? The oh my gosh, what is the name? The fine tip glue pen. My issue with this one is that I think I'm getting really low, so I don't know if I get any. So you know, like I need to get out another one and. I didn't bring it. Yeah. I don't think I have enough. So hold on. Uh, I, to be honest, I like this one better than the multi, mainly because I'm too messy. But okay, let's see if I can make it work. And if not, we'll see what we can do here. You can also use the adhesive sheet. Oh, see, I'm already making a mess. See why this is typically not my... My... Uh, my favorite because I feel like I don't have as much control and I don't like that you know oh see and I had it out on my fingers yeah you can see why I almost never use this one but okay will do I'm gonna have adhesive everywhere oh goodness gracious Oh, see, and I got it all there. Okay, so this is why this is not really my favorite, but okay, because this one is running too low, so I don't know if I can get it where where it goes there. So anyway, I'm going to put it upside down, and then I'm going to be adding this one like right here. How about that? Now, the other thing I forgot to mention is that I cut out the star, so this set has three little stars that you can use so i was thinking i was i was gonna be adding like a few um the stars and i put them already on glue dots mainly because i'm sure i was gonna lose lose them you know i usually use everything that is little in my desk so i thought okay i'm gonna put it already on the glue dots um so we're gonna be using those and i use daffodil delight for those yeah and i'm thinking i can put one here and and this is just for me not to lose them the one here and then maybe one there i might need to cut out three more you know or maybe not yeah or maybe one more anyway and then i'm going to be adding this one with the uh what is this dimensionals and let's just do a bow because i want to put the bow here and so, let's see if the white one, a bow, I think, I think I need it like double, you know, for this one. So let's just do a double bow. Might look a little bit more than the thin one. Oh, I need more. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. So I like a double bow for these. Let's go ahead and do that one. And let's put this one with dimensionals already. Which, where, what did I do with the dimensionals? Oh, here. I'm like, what did I do with the dimensionals? Like, I know I have them here. Yeah, see? Looks nice. I might need to be adding this one with a glue dot too. But 
there we go and then I'm gonna be adding this one like right here you know so I'm liking it so far I'm gonna need this to be more on an angle and this one will be right there there we go and I might want that one a tiny bit smaller uh, just a tiny bit there you go and same thing with this one I think it's too see I'm getting all sticky fingers now okay and there you have it here and then maybe we will add some of this and I feel like there you go I might want I could either go with the yellow or the blues I think I'm gonna go with the yellows you know just to put a few here and there I'm not even moving it. There we go. There you go. So I'm going to leave it like so. And here you have it. It looks really nice, right? Now, most of my cars are going to have something like this collage of trees because that was my favorite. But you could be doing the same with like ornaments, right? Because there's like three sets of ornaments so you can kind of line them up with the ornaments and play with the different, um, the different um, pa patterns. I was playing with one. Hold on, let me show you this. I cut out one, so you could be playing with something like that. Again, I'm using that designer series paper. And uh, you can see it looks really nice as well, right? Now, I'm not going to be using it because I started with ornaments. And then when I started cutting out the trees, I was like, oh, I need to play with the trees. I love all the trees. And, you know, I love kind of making car sets and so for the classes. And so I, I thought, well, this will be an easy one. I can just make lots of trees and then play with them. All right, so let's go with the next one. The next one I'm very excited. This is the card that kind of got me with the inspiration with the whole trees. Now, I did make a few changes um, just for the fun of it. <laughs> but the card on Pinterest was amazing. And I'll be honest, I don't remember who was the designer of this card. Um, but again, it's not exactly the same, but I'm sure if you go to Pinterest and look for the spruce up, you're going to find out, um, that there is a car exactly like this one, because that was my inspiration. Um, all right. So now, um, so my car base in this one is the granny apple green and it is eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to go ahead and fold it in half. Use your bone folder to make sure you uh have it all line up okay then i have two pieces one is the uh, shaded spruce again and this one is um four by five and one quarter and then this one is again from that designer series paper and this one is the three and three quarters by five now, for this one, I decided to go ahead... Oh, and then, hold on, before I continue. Then I have, again, all the uh, trees already cut out, as you can see here. And then I have a piece of vellum. Now, this vellum is part of uh, this one, which is called the um, three, and, 3 and 3 quarters and 5 vellum, which is the lovely layers. And there are some, I'm showing you these. Oh, I think I've used one already. Or, oh, here it is. No, I haven't. I'm like, what did I do? So there's some that had some patterns that you can be using. Okay. And then there is a bunch that are just clear. I use one of the clear ones. Now, these ones are a little bit thinner than the typical um, vellum, vellum cardstock that we have. Um, but it works well. So you could either use the vellum cardstock or the... Um, or this pack, okay? So I went with that one, and I cut it out to, what's my, yeah, two and three quarters by four, okay? All right, now for this part, and I'm gonna be using for this one, 
Uh, where is the other one? I know I... Oh, here. It's just like, where is the other one? I know I had him. I'm going to be using this thing for my sentiments. I'm going to go ahead and bring the... Uh, my blends. And I'm going to be coloring some of them. I got the Shade of the Spruce, the Parakeet Party, Daffodil Delight, and this is the light one. And then I have the granny apple green and i'm just gonna go ahead and color some of the trees or actually all of the trees now i'm gonna be changing the different color so i'm gonna go ahead and use all of the ones that had let's see i think like the dots will be like that one that one and that one right like those ones i'm gonna go with the light shaded the spruce so there are some um so they have some color, you know, and they go with the color combination that I'm going. Now, I love using um, black and white paper, you know, and I, lo I love getting it because typically you can make it go well with pretty much any bright color. Um, so this one I thought, oh, let's just use some of the greens. And I went with really bright greens, as you're going to see. Um, to um, decorate or to color, to, yeah, to color my paper. And that makes it very easy because you can go with, uh, you know, like um, last year we had the designer's use paper that had the pink tree. So you can have one that has pinks and blues and purples. I was thinking you can do something like that. You know, they don't have to be green. I'm using green mainly because that's the color combo that I'm going with. But you can make a whole set of cards where everything is like in the pinks. I think that pinks also go well. I'm going to go ahead with the little tiny one as well here. Um, okay. Oh, and this one has a little dimension. Now. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring the parakeet party. Is that the light? Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and get this lace. Okay. And same thing with this one. So I'm just trying to go with... Um, all the different colors that we have on my color combo but again you can go oh you know which one could go also real well uh, if you add like coastal cabana with pinks and purples oh that would be a good one as well you know nowadays the christmas trees can go in any color don't you think all right and then i'm going to go with the remaining on this i'm going to do and this one is the Granny Apple Green, the light one. And I might do this one as well. And I'm doing the whole thing in green. Now, you could also do the trunks in brown, if you will. I just don't have any brown on my cart, so I decided to just go with everything green. You know, these are like whimsical trees, you know, right? So they could go bright, fun colors. And again, you can choose whatever color you want. And then the last one, I think, is this one. So I don't know. Do I want to use... Maybe I go with the darker of the, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, let's go with the darker. Darker of the granny apple green. Yeah, and then I'm going to bring the yellow, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the different stars that we have here on our paper. 
So like I said, I love coloring the designer series paper because you can make it any color you want, right? There we go. And so this is how it looks. See that? All right, and now, um, now I have almost everything ready. So I have these pieces, I have these, and now I'm gonna be cutting this. So let's go ahead and cut this one right here. Oh my gosh. And then I need this one. And I need to cut this one too. Right, so I have those. I might want to cut this one a little bit smaller, you know? Yeah, that looks better. And then I'm going to cut this section a little bit more. And a little bit more. I don't know that I want to be cutting. I'm going to leave it like so, you know? No, I think that this one... No, I think it's fine. I think it looks okay. I'm going to leave it like that. The Mary seems to be larger, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, so now, for our card, I'm going to go and put them... So this is where I play with the layout. So this one opens like so. So I was thinking I can do them like in an angle, in a smaller angle. See that? Like so. And then have this one here. And have that one there. This one here. This one there. That one here. And then the Merry Christmas. See, like the Christmas. Oh, and the Merry right there. See? And then have my bow. Yeah, somewhere here. Okay. I could change. Yeah, no, I think I'm fine. I could change also these two. Let's see. What if I put them on the other side? You know? I don't know. And then have the bow here. I don't know. I think I like the other way. So I'm going to go with the other way. I don't know. So anyway, so I'm going to decorate first this because that one is a little bit, that way I know exactly where to add the adhesive. So I'm going to go that one and this one like so, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add that one. Uh -huh. Oh, getting all glue. Not like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that one right here. And again, I'm going to be using again this one, which I don't know that I like. A lot, but okay, we're gonna go with these. Uh, and now it's not going through. Oh, there you go. Oh, maybe I just need like a little bit of dots, you know? Hmm. Huh. I feel like I have no control in this thing.
Hmm. Huh. Well, at least I didn't have that much gooey this time. I just feel like I get a lot of adhesive. Oh. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to be putting this one like so. And let it dry for a second. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and glue the other pieces while those get dried. And we're going to go ahead and and like I said, I want to have them in like, like in a little bit of an angle. And I have this one come the same way, right? Oh. Feeling all the stickiness. And I'm going to go in the opposite angle here. Okay. Ooh, and I... And then um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one. So now I'm gonna know I'm gonna pretty much put adhesive exactly where the um threes are because that will be hidden, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and add adhesive on those sections and then have this one come right here. And then I'm going to bring my, see how this one looks. And I might just add, you know what, I'm, I will be just adding one star here. How about that? Yes, because I think it will be, like, you won't really be seeing that one. But this one, yes. And it kind of goes with the rest of the, and then we're going to go ahead um, with the dimensionals, right? So I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with little ones for this one. Ooh, this one. Oh, I see what happened. So I have one right there. And then we're going to go ahead and use and I'm going to go ahead and add another bow. So I'm going to have maybe this one go like so and then a boat right there. So let's just bring the boat. Where is my here, my ribbon. I'm very happy with how this car turned out. This one, I think I do want like a single one because I don't want to be losing too much of that. So I'm just going to go with the single bow. Yeah, see? Like I want it here. Or I can put, oh, I can put it here. I think I like it better there. So let's just go with a single bow. I need to make it a little bit smaller, so not waste too much of the ribbon. I'm gonna be wasteful. There you go. There we go. Oh. 
There we go. All right, so where is the glue dot here? There we go. And then we're gonna be adding some of the gems if I can find them. What did I do with the gems? I know they were here, right? What did I do with them? Mm. Do you see them? Because I don't. Sometimes they're like hiding here, you know? Sometimes like these things hide and then as soon as the video goes off, it's like right there in front of me. I don't see them. Did I put them under this thing? No. Okay, so here are these things. Here is this. Oh, seriously, what did I do with them? They were here. Like, I just used them a minute ago. Hmm. <laughs> well, here is the ruler, because I'm going to be looking for this in a second. Well, I don't know what I did with the gems. Okay, so we might need to open another pack because clearly... Oh, here they are. I'm like, oh, clearly I lost them. Here they are. I'm like, oh. And I'm like, oh, and now they take your pick. Seriously, what's happening here? Um, well, now I lost the take your pick. Oh, here. Do, do, do. Okay, so now... I'm going to go with the yellow again, you know, I feel like those turn out really well on the last one. So gives a good contrast. I'm going to go with one here and the little bitty one right there. And then I'm going to go with the other one right here. Oh, there you go. And so here you have it. See, very, very happy, you know. I feel like it's very cheerful. So here you have cart one and cart two. Definitely like said, same type of collage, different, you know, different layouts, but about the same, right? Um, and so let's go with the next one. The next one, uh, hold on. It's here. And it's also another one I'm using again. Same designer series paper. Well, not the same. Well, the same pack with different patterns. So in this one, I'm using this one, but it's the same color combo, right? So I am using for this, uh, where is my, here we go. I am using the um, pool party in this case. And I have it uh, scored at two and one eight and a four and, and um, one four. Um, so we're going to go ahead, oh, fold it in half, and then I'm going to be folding it again in half, you know, so you don't really have to be embossing, but if you want, you can. Ooh, oh, actually I, ha I did this wrong. It has to be this way. Right. Cause I want this one to be one of those that can, uh, like an easel card, right? So it's going to go like so. So. Have it like so, and it's going to go like this, okay? So, I have a piece of shader and spruce, and this one is five, I think? No, four and three quarters by three and a half. And the designer series paper is, hold on, four and five eighths by three and three eighths. So I have this one like so, okay? So it's an eight of an inch smaller. And then I have a piece that is one and a half, I believe. Yeah, one and a half by five and one quarter. So this one is gonna be glue. So I need this one to be like so, and I want to put this one right there, you know? So it's gonna going to go like that. Then I have this one that is um, the, the largest of the, stylish shapes circles right so this one's gonna go like so and on this one i'm only gonna be adding like three of these you know something like that something like that yes 
these two will have the stars and then I'll put this one with the Merry Christmas like the other one right where I put the Merry and the Christmas kind of like the other one now I feel like this one needs something so let me stamp that one I feel like that one does need like a little bit of something and so I was thinking of using this okay so let's just the stars from here and that way we're stamping something because if you notice we're not stamping anything I feel like I'm cheating <laughs> you know because I'm not really stamping much on tonight other than the sentiments we didn't do much stamping right so anyway so we're gonna go ahead and grip this one um the let's see which color do we want to be using uh, let's do tone on tone. So I'm going to go with Granny Apple Green. That one. I'll bring this. And I should have... Where is the paper that I use for the embossing? Somewhere here I should have that paper. If not, we'll grab another one. Hold on. Because I don't know what I did with that. There we go. We're going to be using a piece of paper. And so... We're going to be doing tone on tone. So, and I'm just going to be adding like the pattern, you know? So, I feel like that's okay. We need another one here. And there you go. We oh, might need another one right here. So I went the whole thing over. Okay, so that's what we have. Used to have a little something here. Yes, yeah, like a pattern, you know? Because it was like too... And then this is going to be the one that we're going to be using. Now, on this one, I'll be honest, I don't know what I was thinking other than I was thinking putting these two, you know. I feel like I need something else. Oh, maybe I need another piece of that one. Oh, a pool party. Let's put a pool party. That's what it is. Um, and I'm just using as scraps as you can see. There you go. I'll put that one. You have this one here so that it kind of this is where it's gonna stop okay so i'm gonna pit pit this one here maybe i put the pool part in between no i don't like that i'll put it here i think i like it that way okay so that's what we're gonna be using all right and i might need to be making this like smaller there you go like a smaller and then have that one like a bell okay yes all right so i'm gonna go ahead yes we're gonna go with this idea we'll see i don't i don't know as always i have just ideas but i never have the cart complete so we're gonna see what this one turns out you know so i'm gonna go ahead and take like a little bit of these And then the rest, I'm going to be putting it on this side. Yep. There you go. Kind of a line. Not too bad for, you know, for being improvising here. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add this one. to this thing. Girl, it's supposed to be this way. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? I want this to be, yes, I'm like, I want this to be. It's a little bit. 
There you go. Where are the scissors? Here. This one turns out to be okay. So, and then I'm going to be adding this one. This one has to be with dimensionals because that's what's going to be stopping your piece. Okay. So let's start putting all these pieces together now that we have what we're, whatever we're going to be doing here. Okay. So. All right, do, do, do. I'm gonna go ahead, bring this one here. And I'll go back to the comments in a second because I know I have not checked comments here in a few. So give me a second here just to make sure. All right, so let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Um, doo -doo -doo. oh, Donna. Oh, okay. She's asking if I have direction. What's the love of the video? Um, well, I'm gonna say this, but she's not gonna hear this. But once I have it on the um, on the YouTube, there's going to be captions, I believe. I believe that's how it works. So I let her know because, of course, I'm saying this and she's not gonna be hearing me. Um, all right, so now that I have here, I'm going to be centering this one, kind of, there we go, and I'm not putting any adhesive on this section because I want it to be sitting like so, and then I'm going to be putting this one right here, okay, so... All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here. Okay, and then this is where I'm gonna be adding the sentiment with the dimensionals, if I can find the dimensionals. Oh my gosh. Oh, here. I'm like, I move everything to find the um, glossy dots and then I'm not finding anything else, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and have this piece. So this one goes right here. Cause this one is gonna sit like so, see? Oh, I did good with the color combination right there because you can kinda not see it, but you see the greens. Okay, now this one is gonna go right here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add adhesive. I'm going to go with the seal plus on this. Oh. Need to recenter it. There you go. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this one right here. See, it does add something, that little print, right? I feel like. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add this with the... Okay, and then same thing, we're going to go ahead and add that one, and this one, and then have this one come right here. Well, you know what, it should be... No, I do like it on top. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add that one first. Or maybe I add this one. No, I do want it under. I like this one there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting all these pieces. I'm 
And then we're gonna go ahead and add that one. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this one right here, okay? Same thing, we're gonna go ahead and use this one. Okay. All right. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and cut out this one. Same thing as we did on the other one. See, and I always feel like I get the gooey from the... Um, what is this thing? The adhesive. So I don't like feeling that gooey on my fingers, too. So that's another reason why I almost never use it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I am surviving, you know? All right, so same thing. We're going to go ahead and add that one, this one. We're going to go ahead and add the, where are the glue dots? The two um, stars that I still have here. Because I think that that yellow really brings something, you know? All right, and then I have this one's come this way. There we go. So these ones are going to go with dimensionals. What do you think? This set is super, super cute, I think. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add a few of these things as well. No, oh, I do feel this way. This one and that one. And then the bow, of course. And There you go. Yes, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the ends. There you go. And a glue dot. And we're almost done. I think like these cars are super, super cute. 
they're easy to make and I feel like you can do this ones with the um with the ornaments as well right you can be changing the ornaments as well alrighty so this one will open like so okay so you have it like this and then they can put it like this how about that don't you like it anyway so let me just show all the cards we're pretty much done let me know as you saw which one was your favorite let me put them here put them back here so that you can see them um oh i like them all i think this is the number one number two and then this one i definitely love that this is a phone fold it's one of those that you can like if when i give it i think they can put it on display so i like that one a lot um uh, plus the other thing that i like is that it doesn't show what you're writing you know so you can easily address it there's no issues and when they put it still you don't really see it i mean of course if you open you can but it's something that you can display right um pretty good so i like this one a lot i think this one is my favorite i do love the coloring on that one and so of course i love the edge so i like them all but i think this is going to be my favorite <laughs> but let me see i always love seeing which one it is oh oh thank you sarah for letting um for letting her know about the captions because yeah i was like i'm gonna say these but uh, she's not gonna hear it so <laughs> um all right so ronda likes the first one dory likes also the fun card oh pat thank you so much you're so nice uh sarah says uh, she likes the set as well um the middle one so dory's oh dory says this with the middle one so you like this one better okay uh, Pat says she also likes the third one as well. So, like I said, you can get the card kit to make these cards. These are super fun, I think. The bundle is an it's a great one. Um, it gives you different options. Again, it's this one. Where is the 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 thing here is? So you can see it. You have um, and I didn't go through these, but uh, you could stamp them and die cut them, of course, right? Um, I went with the easy way, just using the the dies because I thought, like I said, I thought it was a super fun way. Um, the sentiments are really cool, and you can change the Merry Christmas for Happy Christmas, if that's what you say. And so I think it's really cute. So anyway, so really easy. And like I said, when you place an order with me, at least $35 using the host code, um, the, the, using this host code, you get the card kit in the mail to make these cards uh, with everything there. Now, you do have to have the bundle, so make sure you're ordering if you don't have it, because all the pieces you'll have to die cut it. There's no way I can be die cutting all that many little trees for everyone. But anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, your support. Also, if you're going to be placing a large order, considering getting that starter kit, like I said, it's a great deal right now that you can get during October. You get $155 worth of products, and the kit is only $99 plus tax. There's no shipping, so you end up saving uh chipping on your order so anyway so thank you so much i really appreciate it and i'll see you next week at the same time bye for now <laughs>